Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hashtag Sports. I don't want to do that. That sucks. Paul, <laughs> after 10 years, how come I can never remember how to do an opening? I don't know, man. That's the problem is, you know, it's it feels like it should be something we just have locked in, but we just make it up every time. Wow. Every time. I mean, that's what you guys don't realize. We do it every time. Obviously, it's been a while since uh, Paul and I have been able to uh, ride together here on Hashtag Sports, where we're always trending. But I obviously we're doing some new things with the channel. We're going to be changing some things up. We're going to give you guys details on that a little bit later. And also be sure to be on the lookout for the golf tournament, the hashtag sports, not so invitational golf tournament, where we're going to be going to diamond Hawk golf course, uh, the day before the home opener on September 18th. Uh, but like I said, at the, at the onset guys, this is our 10th season covering the bills. Um, going from podcasting to YouTube and everything. And uh, we got some changes that we're going to be doing. We're going to be tweaking the channel a little bit. We'll stay tuned for that. Make sure you pay attention to the community page. We do a lot of the updates on there and whatnot. So uh, first things first, Paul, I'm going to come right out of the gate. We're not going to get too sentimental. Number one, Micah Hyde carted off the field. Uh, he, he left with, he, he obviously registered an interception and early reports are he registered an interception, came off the field limping and then was carted to the back. Mm -hmm. um now front seat carded front seat not back seat <laughs> i think that makes a difference right the back seat cart that's a no bueno situation front seat usually it's he's like listen i'm not getting on the back i'm not i'm not doing it you just drive me over there that's i'm not freaking out everybody right but it begs the question uh this is why it's, it's, it's such a great topic right now because going into the season you have a seventh round second year corner and you have a rookie as your starting cornerbacks hide and poyer I mean, a lot of people have been talking about, we've been talking about quite possibly the best safety tandem in the NFL right now. Mm -hmm. If you lose one of them, I think that, and we had a discussion about this when we talked about the Poyer episode with extending him. Mm -hmm. I think you can, you can afford, now, don't hit the unsubscribe button just yet. I think you can afford for a limited amount of games to lose Poyer. I don't know if you can afford to lose Micah Hyde in that secondary right now. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty fair, right? Because uh, your depth chart is at free safety, Micah Hyde, Jaquan Johnson. And Jaquan Johnson has had a limited role just simply because Micah Hyde just never misses time, right? Like it's, he just, he just doesn't miss time. And then behind Poirier, you have DeMar Hamlin and Josh Thomas. Josh Thomas is like two career games, right? The, the, I think uh, he's from App State, right? So this will be his second season. And DeMar Hamlin was fine, you know, a nice late round draft pick. But again, you're not the, the role that Micah Hyde plays is so integral to the communication in that secondary that uh, that's the big one to miss. Right. If Micah Hyde misses any amount of time, that's a big one, especially since when you look at what's on the roster. I mean, Jaquan Johnson has been there long enough to be able to say, OK, listen, the job is now yours. But if you're Bill, if you're a Bills fan, are you are you truly, really comfortable with that? I, you know what? We're going into 2022. He was taken in the sixth round of 2019. So then you had 19, 20, 21. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those times where you're sitting there. He's been in that room with Hyde for three years. Mm -hmm. So I'm more comfortable with that. Uh, and just to dispel any type of, um, you know, oh, this, this is just an easy fix, guys. If, if Hyde goes down, put Poyer there. It's not the same. Hyde's a center fielder. Poyer's a hammer. Right. Okay. And in the, in the type of defense that they do and the kind of communication that they have, you know what? Johnson probably communicates better with Hamlin anyway because he's they're always together. That's interesting. You know, right. It's like Hyde and Poyer are always together. So it's, yep. I don't think it's, it's such an easy fix where you're just going to put Poyer in Hyde's spot and then be like, okay, kid, you be the hammer. You know what I mean? Although so, they do, they do have that. Hamlin, I, I believe Hamlin, um, replacing Poyer, like, like I said at the outset, would be a lot easier than Johnson mm -hmm. replacing Hyde. But the thing is, Johnson's been, been in there for three years. Would mm -hmm. I like it? No. Would I be comfortable with it for two or three games? Okay. All right. Right. There's some things that uh, – football is a game of attrition, so at some point you have to accept it, right? But yeah. the rosters are so big right now that you could make a move here, right, and bring okay. somebody in if you're concerned that Hyde is going to be gone for the rest of training. Even if you're just looking at the rest of training camp, maybe Buffalo doesn't make a move. 
uh, because you just say, listen, we're just going to build and we're going to trust our guys. And that's going to be the line that you hear from coach and GM. Oh, we're going to trust our guys. No, they're looking, right? That's oh, yeah. they're looking. Don't, don't be fooled by, you know, all the, they're definitely looking, but does this make a stronger case? And I'm going to, I'm going to speculate a little bit, just a little bit, but does this make a stronger case for you making a roster move where you cut somebody like Christian Benford or Trayvon Fuller? These are back end cornerbacks. Yeah. You sign Joe Hayden and say, listen, you've got tons of experience. Go play center field for right now. And then when Hyde comes back, then Hayden is there to be a CB3 for you, you know, and kind of maturated to that defense. And then he's there for you in the back half of the season. Does this make a stronger case for having to go get a veteran like Joe Hayden, who absolutely could play that center field role that Micah Hyde plays? Um, could he do it as well? Absolutely not, right? We're talking a totally different mindset, but yeah. he's been in the league for long enough and he's as talented a player as he is. I, I think he could do it. Um, but if you're going to do it, you got to make that move and get him in that room as soon as possible. Oh my God. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's been around for a while. I now, now the thing here, the tipping point for me is this. I love the, I love that you decided that because guys in, in the NFL, a lot of times it happens when corners happen to get up there in age, mm -hmm. um, their football IQ gets a, a lot higher, but their 40 time goes down. <laughs> yeah, not the truth. <laughs> Safety, uh, hides, hides position is very unique in the fact that like, like Paul and I said, it's a center fielder. So mm -hmm. it's not like you're taking the pounding every single day. Like, like Poyer. Poyer, he's always, he's always coming up. He's always stopped making a lot of stops on the run. Not to say that Hyde doesn't. I'm just saying Poyer is more in that role of a hammer coming down in the box. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you wanted a center fielder, bringing in a guy like Joe Hayden, we know it's two different positions, guys, cornerback and safety. However, Charles Woodson has done it. Champ Bailey has done it. There's a lot of guys that have done it in the past that have had some success and extended their career. Now, my question to you is this. Does Hayden have a ring yet? Because if he doesn't have a ring, he'll he'll sign a one-year, $1 million deal with the Bills if you, if you want him to. Well, I mean, there's also the side of that where, uh, you know, the player doesn't want to make the move because they feel like it, they're failing themselves, right? Because position yeah. changes are normally a flag of, listen, I'm acknowledging the fact that I'm not who I was in 2012, right? But the difference is Joe Hayden's been around forever. Um so does he have a ring? I don't think he does just simply because of where he was, <laughs> you know, he's in Cleveland for six years. So, oh, um, and I don't think Pittsburgh's had a ring since before 2017. Right. Yeah. So no, he wouldn't. Well, I mean, we do have Brandon Bean. So is this somewhere, is does this mean that we have to have Billy Bean come talk to him like David justice in Moneyball? be like, I'm not paying you for the player you were. I'm paying you for the player you are. <laughs> <laughs> New York's paying half your salary. That's what the Yankees think of you. No, I'm just well, kidding. and let's not forget that uh, if my math is correct, Poyer and Hayden played together in Cleveland. They did. Yeah. I believe they did. Not, they had, not a long yeah. time. No, no, no. It was a very short, short run because that was in 2016 he left Cleveland. So by the time Poyer came over, yeah, he had to have played with Hayden in Cleveland. I like, I like those little nuggets of information too. Uh, yeah. I don't think – um, you're looking at you're looking at it, and I I had said this jokingly, um, well not jokingly, but I said it, and everyone else like lost their minds. If if I was going to be comfortable with a move, if he was healthy, I'd put White back there. I put Trey back there because hey, that... Trey was working with the corners. He's he's on one leg out there. He's still out there working with the corners. <laughs> it's funny because they showed video of Trey doing like uh you know some workouts after practice. And he's yeah. jumping on one leg higher than I could jump if I was standing on a stool. <laughs> and he's on, you know, he's on the bad leg and he's still, he's still jump, He's still clearing what easily would have been two basketballs on top of each other. And me on the other hand, could, couldn't clear a phone book if I had 10 yards to run in front of it. <laughs> the NFL I, players are on a different level of athlete, man. They are a different athlete. level. And They're if there's absolutely. anybody who's going to come back stronger from an injury, it's Trey. He wants it too bad. You know, like he is so motivated. I absolutely love Trey. I love Trey. Absolutely. Yeah. It, like if Trey White was healthy, I would have a little bit less concern with a rookie cornerback and yeah. Trey White, and you still got Poyer. And then you're going to put like a fourth year guy who mm -hmm. has been in the room. He's been in this organization. He's been in the right. system. He knows what's going on. I would be more comfortable with that. But you're right. starting. Dane, it's essentially Dane Jackson and Elam, and you're going to have Poyer. If you lose mm -hmm. Hyde, I venture to say this, Paul. 
Micah Hyde. And there's a lot of great players over there. Micah Hyde is the Josh Allen to the defense. Uh, is that only because you don't have Trey? Because I think that's yep. a great point, right? Yeah. If Without Trey, I think you almost have to prepare yourself for losing a safety. And the roster right now is not really prepared to lose a safety, um, mm -hmm. at, at least from my perspective. And, but again, I, I'm not in the room with Jaquan Johnson. He's remained on the team for a reason. This team shuffles safeties quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Jaquan Johnson stuck around. So there's got to there's got to be a reason for it. But I almost feel like there almost has to be a move with no Trey. With Trey, I agree with you. I, I think you're probably okay for a little bit. You can suffer a little bit of a loss here. You can yeah. take a step back. But you're never going to ask Poyer to play Hyde's role. And I guess your Josh Allen comparison is probably similar, right? There's not a player on that offense who could do can play no. Josh Allen's role. No. Just like Jordan Poyer can't play Micah Hyde's role. It's no. it's they're, I, they're, it's a totally different responsibility. Spot duty would be it'd be okay. Maybe a game or two. I, yeah. I don't trust it long term. Um, mm -hmm. So are you saying that Tre'Davious White is is the Stephon Diggs of the defense? Bob, I don't think he'd mind that. <laughs> <laughs> How many touchdowns did Diggs score last year? Yeah, I don't think Trey would mind that. 